We're from Crater Renaissance Academy. Today, we will be discussing the effects of climate change in Oregon, specifically in our agricultural sector. Climate change is defined as long-term shifts in the overall weather patterns of the Earth, of which we are already noticing the effects. Climate change is caused by the buildup of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, such as carbon dioxide emitted mostly by burning fossil fuels. This is important in southern Oregon because decreased snowpack is affecting water availability, crop growing seasons are shifting, crops are being lost due to drought, decreased air quality is directly affecting human health, and increased fire behavior is causing displacement. Climate change dis disproportionately affects disadvantaged communities and indigenous cultural resources. Our goal is to educate and bring these issues to the attention of our community and to give some possible solutions that could help the people of the Rogue Valley adapt to a changing climate. Hi, my name is Emma Amadeus and I'm representing Jackson Soil and Water. In 2021, 35% of greenhouse gas emissions were sourced from transportation in Oregon, 34% from residential and commercial properties, 20% from industry, and 11% from agriculture. This totaled to 61.4 million metric tons of just CO2. While carbon is sequestered in nature, it is not nearly enough to keep up with greenhouse gas production over the years. Our forests can only store so much carbon, and with the destruction of nature, the amount they store is on a steady decrease. While soil stores the most carbon, dead and living plants contribute the other half of carbon storage. The excess of greenhouse gases has and will have drastic effects on weather patterns. By 2050, the snowpack in Oregon will fall by over 50%, coming down as rain instead, or potentially not coming down at all. For the wide majority of the past 23 years, precipitation has fallen below average. Recent conditions have been drier than any other 22-year period in Oregon for the past 1,200 years. The lengthiest period of drought in Oregon lasted a total of 270 weeks, from 2011 to 2017, and 2021 had the hottest summer ever recorded in the state. The temperature of Oregon is projected to increase by 5 degrees on average by 2050. Medford even receives 21 additional days of temperatures over 90 degrees compared to 1940. Because of the heat, we are more at risk of potentially devastating wild, uh, wildfires, having twice as much annual risk on average than in 1979. Climate change also has a negative impact on soil quality, drying out and damaging microbiomes in the soil. It is estimated that by mid-century, we will require 70 to 100% more food the reduction of biodiversity and moisture in the soil will make it harder to grow crops. It will also create a shift in the crops we are able to produce, opting for produce that consumes less water as well as an increase in soil erosion. Next, Will is going to give the perspective of local farms and their struggles in climate change. Hi, my name is Will Goodpasture and I am covering the agricultural effects of climate change in the Rogue Valley. Climate change is currently impacting small and large-scale agriculture, grapes and pears in particular in Southern Oregon. Crop production of pears in the Rogue Valley is decreasing due to limited chilling hours, which is the maximum amount of cold weather hours that a fruit tree needs to blossom. The changing climate can shorten chilling hours, causing pear trees not to blossom. For example, Bartlett pears need 800 chilling hours. Much like pears, grapes will be affected because, like many other crops, each species of grapes has an average growing season temperature that will ensure it is a healthy and hardy crop. For example, the raisin's average growing season temperature is 67 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas the Pinot Grigio grape has an average of about 55 to 59 degrees Fahrenheit. With growing seasons changing and the average summer and winter temperatures becoming more extreme, it will affect the rate and quality at which these grapes grow. Changes in climate mean that farmers have to adapt and either move away to a place with a better climate for their crops or come up with long-term solutions. I collected information from small farms in the valley. I have heard from little Roman farms who moved to the valley from Colorado, where the climate is more severe. They studied Oregon's predicted climate and current climate, and their personal opinion is that the valley is a much better place for crops and agriculture. Whereas more long-term farmers in the Rogue Valley have a harder time with the climate because it is changing at a rate they're struggling to adapt to. Jenna Turner will reflect more on the topic of struggling citizens and farmers. Hi, my name is Jenna and I am covering the health of our local people in the Rogue Valley. It is getting very hot in the summer in Southern Oregon now, reaching record highs every year because of climate change and the trapping of more greenhouse gases. This affects the people too, and it's going to get worse if these conditions continue. There has been an increase in heat related illnesses, which includes heat stroke and even cases of vital organ failure. 
Stated by the Oregon Department of Energy, in June of 2021, there was a record heat wave that caused around 116 deaths in Oregon. These circumstances are hard on the people who are unhoused or people with low income that cannot afford cooling systems. What has also been hard for Oregon lately is the poor air quality. According to SOCAN, in the state of Oregon, 90% of our air pollution is caused by everyday uses of chemicals like paints, aerosols, and objects that require the usage of fossil fuels such as automobiles. The Rogue Valley is also predisposed to stagnant air days, which will trap in air. Prolonged exposure to low or moderate air pollution levels can increase death. This is especially an issue for people that work outside, like agricultural and construction workers, younger children, elders, and people with underlying conditions. The amount of stress put on people from climate change not only affects the people's physical well-being, but also their mental well-being. From these significant weather changes, these in individuals experience the effects of trauma, increased stress, and depression as households may mourn the loss of life, assets, and experience displacement. Next up is Dex, who is covering the Indigenous people and how they are faring. My name is Dex Dumont, grandson of Dayton Dumont, nephew of Clayton Dumont, chairman of the Klamath Tribes. Climate change has a widespread impact on every person on this planet, but help has been disproportionately distributed. Marginalized communities have felt the effects of climate change much stronger than the general population. Specifically, I will be covering the perspective of those living on the Klamath Tribal Reservation. The Klamath people are a very spiritual group and our climate is very intertwined within the religion. Climate change has been felt mostly in the aspect of drought. The Klamath River has significantly dropped in water level that is drastically impacting the native fish populations. The Chihuahua and the Kaptu are two very culturally and ecologically significant fish in the Chilopan area. These sucker fish play an important role in the lives of Klamath natives, and with the water levels dropping so drastically, these fish have become threatened. In these fish populations dropping, it has negatively impacted the natural ecosystem within the Klamath River, as well as restricted an essential part of the Klamath native ceremonies and cultural exchanges. A cultural exchange is the act of partaking in native activities, including hunting, fishing, and foraging, and sharing that with other members of the community. Culture exchanges are a vital part of native life. They provide the opportunity to connect with both our community as well as our native cultural religion. When interviewing natural resource specialist uh, for the Klamath tribes, John Gentry, he showed a deep connection with specifically sharing the fish he had caught with the tribal elders. It gave him a deep sense of unity and satisfaction partaking in these and many other tribal customs. With climate change, rising temperatures and limiting water in our rivers has caused our fish population to suffer. Drastic action must be taken in order to preserve our way of life. Vivian will outline our plan of action. My name is Vivian Whittington and I'm covering our team's proposed plan of action. Going forward, the question is, what are these drastic actions we need to take? One of the main problems with developing a plan of action is that there are many proposed solutions to adapt to our changing climate and no single one is a perfect plan. To develop a plan of action, we must combine multiple solutions spanning several different industries and aspects of modern life. Going forward, we will need to consider as many aspects of, as possible of what is contributing to greenhouse gases, the main impacts of climate change we are facing, the predicted future of Oregon's climate, and the overall health of residents. Some things we could try to implement to help the overall well-being of people in the community in the near future could consist of programs to educate people on the importance of walking and biking when possible and eating healthier, less carbon-intensive foods, as well as providing more training opportunities for great jobs, which will help disadvantaged communities and low-income families, and will not only benefit them, but also our climate. Wildfires in southern Oregon are becoming very prominent as the temperature increases and the precipitation is changing constantly. To help the Rogue Valley adapt to changing climate and decrease risk of high severity wildfires, some options could be maximizing water and energy conservation by using dry farming and making our homes and businesses more energy efficient, bringing more support to land use and management with minimal carbon emissions, and more prescribed burning. While climate change is negatively impacting the lives of people here in the Rogue Valley, we believe that the implementation and eventual expansion of this plan will help the people of Southern Oregon, particularly the agricultural sector, adapt to our changing climate.